take his elbow and press it up slightly. Look how does it place against the shoulder. Now the support is shoulder joint. Try to give the pressure through the chain, elbow, shoulder, collarbone, backbone. Backbone gives the pressure to the center of gravity. Partner's body moves aside, deviate. And instead of two supporting legs, he has one pier. This leg becomes the prolongation of spine's axis. His second leg we may use as a lever to rotate his body. So I turn his body using supporting leg as an axis and use his second leg to help myself. So the variant A. Displacement the elbow creating an axis. Change your and your partner position. Note. Prevent if your partner will try to do a step to search stability. In this moment you must begin to twist him spirally around the spine axis. Pick up his second gang to, uh, to the elbow. Note, keep your back straight and squat a little to use your own center of gravity in action. Change your place with your partner. The second variant B. The beginning is just the same. I take his elbow, move him slightly backward and pull him his another hand to myself. Then twisting your partner, push him forward and down angularly 45 degrees. Do a step, come up to him. Let us suppose I do the first variant, but it doesn't have a success. In this case I instantly change the direction and try the second variant. Or the other way. I begin to pull him to myself and he rests against my movement and try to move backward. In this case I add my power to his movement backward. Twist his elbow and continue the movement. If I move my partner without squatting, it's wrong, because he will simply go around. Note that squatting gives me the third dimension and forms a spiral. The result is your partner fall down. You may reinforce the movement going straight to the partner and shift him from his peers, his legs. One more note. This action doesn't require rough force. Do it tender. Standing near him I place my hand to his shoulders from behind. I'll take with my fingers, chin, nose, eyes, hair, everything, what I can use in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Let's combine two modes. Act with my leg, knee using concept and mode wedge and twist spirally squatting at the same time. I take his chin with my hand, extrude his knee with my leg and disbalance him.
doing the opening action. I may follow him towards his head, or I may throw him back and control by my leg. This is the same spiral movement using couple of vectors concept. This position make it possible to do the high throw from inside. Now we need such a variant. I stay near him, contact your leg to his ham pit, then do the following. Take his chin and twist it at once. Extrude, squeeze out his leg. Squatting, dump his spirally to your back. You may add one more step during your action. Control your partner's position on the ground with knees and hands. An example of combat action using these modes. Keep your back straight. If not, your partner will use it. You may insert wave actions in this movement. It is not bad and make it easy. Practice automatic and accuracy. Full training and control at the sensation level. The dynamic and force will depend upon your pendular shifting. Let's practice two modes. A. Dumping backward. B. Disbalance with step aside. Do not stay on straight legs. It prevents you do an action. <laughs> 